Hello po sa lahat ng viewers dyan. I hope that you are having a great day so far. So before we start with our video, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for more videos. So for this day, bibigyan natin ng example on how to solve for volumes using integration. No last video ko, tinuruan ko po kayo on how to derive the formula for our volume using integration. So gagawin po natin yan for this day. So our example number one states that find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating about the y-axis, the region bounded by the curve y is equivalent to 2x squared minus x cubed and x-axis. So, so take note plus hahanapin po daw natin yung ating region bounded by these two curves or shall I say this curve and this line and then papaikutin po natin sa y-axis para meron siyang volume. And then th that volume, hahanapin po natin yan. So therefore, first equation natin, sulat natin siya, y is equivalent to 2x squared minus x cubed. That is our equation number one. And then po, yung ating equation number two is y is equivalent to zero because that is x-axis. Diba? So therefore, that is our equation number two. So first thing that we need to do, dapat alam natin yung figure natin, alam natin yung kinukuna natin ng volume, di ba? So it would be awkward naman din po if hindi natin alam yung volume or yung figure ng kinukuna natin ng volume, di ba? So therefore, kukunin po natin yung intersection between these two graphs. Ayan po. So substitute natin our equation number two to our equation number one. So that would be 0 is equivalent to 2x squared minus x cubed. And then simplify lang po natin. x cubed is equivalent to 2x squared. Then divide natin both sides by x squared para po makancel out yung ating x squared. So ayan. So therefore, yung ating first root would be equivalent to 2. And then automatic po, second root natin is equivalent to zero. Kasi two roots po tayo dito. Okay? So proceed po tayo. If x is equivalent to two, substitute po natin sa equation number one. That would be y is equivalent to two multiplied by two squared minus two cubed. Ayan po. So y is equivalent to two squared. That would be four. And then multiplied by two, that is eight. And then 2 cubed, that is the same, that would be 8 then. So therefore, y natin is equivalent to 0. So we can conclude that our first intersection between these two graphs is 2 and 0. So proceed tayo. How about if our x is equivalent to 0? So that would be y is equivalent to 2. Ayan po, substitute lang po din natin sa ating equation number 1. And that is obviously equivalent to zero. So therefore, we have here our second intersection. So I think we're ready to graph this one. So we have here our x and y axis. Plot po natin siya. First intersection is 2, 0. Ayan po siya. And our second intersection would be 0, 0. So Class, the graph of y is equivalent to 2x squared minus x cubed is hindi natin alam. So we can assume that kasi meron naman din tayong lower limit and upper limit. So pwede siyang ganyan, pwede siyang ganyan, basta i-connect mo lang no, na nakakurve siya. But take note class, mas maganda if accurate yung ating uh, figure. So therefore, that is our graph. So our region bounded by the curve and our x-axis would be this one. Ayan po yung area niya. So, papaikutin po natin yan sa ating y-axis. ba? So, next thing that we need to do is to decide anong strip yung gagamitin natin. Vertical ba or horizontal? Okay, so take note, dapat yung ating strip is matatamaan yung ating first equation and second equation. So, hindi po pwede si horizontal strip dito. ba? So, therefore, we will be using our vertical strip. Okay? And then, proceed tayo in labeling. This is our y and this is our dx. Ayan po. So, bigyan natin to ng label sa taas. This, is, this, is, uh, this would be our y sub u or shall I say yung upper natin na equation. 
di ba? So this one would be our y sub u, yung first equation. And then yung second equation natin, that would be our y sub d or down. So pag ganyan plus, yun, yan yung ginagawa ko label kasi up at down, no? mas madali siyang maintindihan. So therefore, proceed tayo. This is our y sub up no? na distance from our uh, point papunta sa ating x-axis. And then, this is our y sub down, which is equivalent to zero. Kasi wala siyang distance. Diba? So, next thing, diba? Dapat alam natin yung ating measurement from our strip papunta sa ating axis of rotation. And that would be x sub c. Okay? So, that would be x kasi directed siya papunta sa ating y. Ayan, so proceed tayo. Ang gagawin po natin is to derive the formula of our volume. So wala tayong ni-memorize the formula. Tayo po yung gagawa ng sarili nating formula, di ba? So take note class that the general formula in getting the volume of our figure that is equivalent to area of our strip, then gagamitan natin ng integration from lower limit to upper limit, and then multiply natin ng 2 pi para ma-revolve siya, no? one revolution, then multiply or with respect to our distance from our strip papunta sa axis of our rotation. So therefore, that would be volume is equivalent to 2 pi then yung ating uh, strip, which is the area of the strip, di ba? So that is obviously y times dx. So we are dealing with x, therefore yung ating lower limit is 0. Ayan siya, x then yung ating upper limit would be 2, which is our x value. Diba? So, lalagyan natin si x sub c ng x sub c. Ayan. So, emphasize po natin, class, no? uh, we must uh, substitute our y and x sub c in terms of our y sub up and y sub down. So, lalagyan po natin yan, 2 pi, then 2 to 0, then ang y natin. So take note class, how can we solve for our y involving y up and y down? So that would be obviously y is equivalent to y up minus y down. Diba? So nalagyan natin si x sub c, that would be our x. Diba? Kasi direct siya papunta sa ating y axis. And then dx. Ayan po. So simplify natin, y sub down natin is equivalent to 0. So this is equivalent to 2 pi, then integration of 0, 2. Then hahanapin po natin yung equation ni y sub up. So here class, isusulat ko muna. y is equivalent to 2x squared minus x cubed. That is our first equation. And y is equivalent to 0. That would be our second equation. So as you can see here, this is our y sub up. Ayan po, siya yung natamaan. No? Nag-label tayo kanina, y sub up, and this is our y sub down. Diba? So substitute natin to. Yung hinahanap dito, dito is y sub up. So substitute lang po natin, that would be 2x squared minus x cubed. x dx. Ayan. So tapos na tayo sa ating formula. Ang gagawin na lang natin is 2 simplify or rewrite before we can integrate this one. Diba? So this is a definite integration of process. So therefore, simplify muna natin class V, 2 pi, then from 0 to 2, and then uh, distribute natin siya. That would be 2x cubed minus x to the power of 4, then multiplied by dx. For this example, gagamitan po natin siya ng power rule that is x to the power of n is equivalent to x n plus 1 over n plus 1. So we will start our integration magiging volume. Sulat ko dito. Is equivalent to 2 pi. Ayan, that is our constant. Diba? And then, so yung sa loob is integrate natin. So 2 is our constant. Ilagay lang natin 2 x cubed. So therefore, ang n natin is 3. So that would be n 3 plus 1 would be 4. So x to the power of 4, the same lang sa baba, that would be 3 plus 1 is equivalent to 4. So this one, copy lang natin, negative. Yung exponent niya is 4, so therefore that would be our n plus 1. 
So therefore, that is x to the power of 5 divided by 5. Diba? So, nagyan natin from 0 to 2 yung ating limit. So next thing is substitute natin yung ating upper limit minus substitute natin yung ating lower limit. So for that one, that would be 2 pi. Ayan, constant. Then open parenthesis tayo. Another open parenthesis. 2 multiplied by 2 the power of 4 divided by 4 minus 2 to the power of 5 over 5. And then substitute natin to 0. I think it is, this is obviously 0. Pero isulat lang natin class for the sake of the solution. 4 minus 2, 0, 5 divided by 5. Ayan po. Ayan po, so erase lang po natin yung 2. Ayan, kasi dapat walang 2 dyan. And then, I think we can proceed in using our calculators in solving the value for this one. Okay, so ilabas ko po yung aking calculator. That would be 2 pi multiplied by our 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 4 divided by 4 minus 2 ayan to the power of 5 over 5 and then in sa kabila that is obviously 0 pero sige lang class input lang po natin para sure talaga di ba so to the power of 4 divided by 4 minus 0 to the power of 5 uh, divided by 5. Ayan po siya. So the answer would be equivalent to 16 over 5 pi or 10.053. Okay, so input natin siya. 10 point zero five three. That is our answer. So lagyan natin ng unit cubic units. Iyan natin ang line. And po. So this is our answer. Now this is the volume of our curve and our x-axis na region or area na papaikutin natin sa ating y-axis. Okay, I think that concludes our video for today. I hope that you have learned something for this day. So, lagi lang po natin tatandaan na formulas can be forgotten, but the concept itself remains forever. Goodbye, class.